What do you think so far? Pretty easy? Not easy. Lynx Creek, Prescott, Arizona. We're up here at Lynx Creek with Lisa, Josh, and Casey from Native Arizona Adventures and then Scars Prospecting. I haven't been up here on this side yet, but we're gonna go say hi to Lisa. We're gonna catch her off guard real quick. Hey guys. <laughs> you got a strap. Yeah, my chest harness. Yeah, that's even cooler, that bucket though. Yeah, somebody named uh, Wheelie Shiny Gold <laughs> loaned me that bucket because dork me forgot mine. There's been plenty of times where I forgot my stuff. So I'm only going to charge you $5 an hour for that. So. Oh, that's so cool. What yeah. a bargain. So I am grateful to have this opportunity to do a little gold panning with Tortuga Lisa. She's one of the nicest and sweetest persons you will ever meet. Okay, so I noticed this tree right here. And this boulder, it looks like it's been worked. You can see all the old workings here from the old timers. Lisa's over there catching pounds of gold. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Looks like it had little piece, a little piece of quartz in it. Oh yeah, cool. Hey. <laughs> Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And she also has a YouTube channel. I'm going to leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description below. I hope you go check it out and give her videos a thumbs up. All right, we're up here at Lynx Creek and we're just doing some gold panning. And my first spot I picked, I went down. I got one little flake up there. So I'm going to go down a little bit deeper. Try to get into some of this crevice here in this little outcropping of bedrock. And then, of course, one of the most important things you do is you fill the hole back up whenever you decide to walk away. So don't forget that. And later we'll check on my buddy Brian down there. All right, this is Brian right here. He's gonna be doing his first pan. Is this your first pan ever? Ever. Oh, right on, man. We already found a little bit. Lynx Creek has been one of the most productive gold-bearing streams in Arizona. Panning for gold. The Lynx Creek Plasters were discovered in May 1863 by Sam Miller and four other prospectors of the group led by Captain Joe Walker. Sam Miller reportedly panned $4.80 in gold from a gravel bank along Lynx Creek. In May of 1863, the party organized the first mining district in Yavapai County, which they called the Pioneer District. How you doing, old time prospector? <laughs> Striking out. I go like this and go straight back. Okay. Go slowly up top and then go straight back. Slowly up top. Most of the gold in Lynx Creek is thought to have been derived from the gold veins in the Walker area. No, Doug, it's... The gold along the creek varies from nuggets to four ounces in the upper reaches of the creek to fine gold along the lower reaches of Lynx Creek. All right, so far, two micro shovels. We're using that little mini shovel over there. All right, I got two pans. We're coming up with a few specks here and there. Not bad. All right, bro. There you go. What do you think so far? Pretty easy? It's not easy. It's very fun now. and relaxing. It is. Listen to it. So I'm just digging a hole for some gold. We're looking for some gold. And this guy was sitting right here. And could be, uh, you know, just a normal rock, but... Luckily, we have some rock guys here. I'll have to ask them about this. So here's Scars prospecting over here. Hey, are you an artifact guy? Me? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Does that look weird to you? Possibly. Or is it natural? That's natural. Maybe it's just a fracture, huh? It looks more like for obsidian or... Yeah, you so know, this would be too weak for like a weapon. Yeah, this is fracture. probably maybe if, if someone even was messing around with it. But yeah, that's the wrong material. And you'll see it'll be worked more. There'll be tons yeah, of little this, tiny 
tiny little workings. So this must just be like some weird fracture of these two. And then, uh, yeah, from the fault. That might yeah. be exactly where the fault was. The way it's like it, it heated up. Yeah. And it broke and shifted. Screw that rock then. Yeah. Hey, but I did find some obsidian up there and someone was working it. Oh, really? Some black obsidian. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it could be somebody just messed around or practicing or whatever, or it could be, you know. Was there any native er uh, Indians around here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not, this is my first time in this area. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, love yeah. It. it was a great trip. Where are you coming from? Colorado. Colorado. Yeah, so man. he drove all the way out here for this. Heck, man. Yeah. The rope no, it's beautiful. We came to watch some rocks and see. Yeah. Things, you know? You guys' hole right here? Yes. Come check this out. This is the original workings from the mine. They hydro blasted this whole side of the mountain and ran. These are all the tailings here. Oh, I see. So that's why you'll find lots of gold in there, just like yep. my videos at Cash Creek in Granite, Colorado. But there's a shaft at the other end that's pretty neat. So up here is a shaft? At the very end, if you follow this road down, you follow it, it'll loop around and you'll see an uh, opening. Pretty cool. Right on. Yeah, I'll go explore that later. Heck yeah, man. We'll right catch up. Big old bats in there. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go check it out later. We'll catch up with you guys. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go look for this mine. I don't know if uh, we're gonna find it. We could get lost. And just a forewarning, there's squirrels out here. <sighs> Only got one water bottle on me, but I got the metal detector. That's all we need, right guys? Yeah. All right. Josh and Casey from Native. Hey, pull those pants up. Adventures. Ah, how's it going, guys? Hey. hey. We're digging. We're all right. digging. We got a crevice. You gonna go say hi to the bat? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go find Batman real quick. It's been a long hike. We'll get there. Eventually. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful here. Oh, it's a lady right there. Hey, Brian. Give me your best impression of a cow. Move. <laughs> She's not impressed with you, Brian. She's not into handsome men. All right. <laughs> we found it. Brian's uh, he's pretty much our um, he's a gopher. He's our test runner. Are there any bats in there? I don't see a bat. I looked in there. I don't see any shield. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a bat. Oh, wow. One giant. Oh, yeah, he said he got to crawl underneath it or something. I feel like there's another shaft up here that connects to this. Yeah, you shaft. Yes, the bats over here. You got to crawl in there? Sure. Yeah. Tortoises are really good at digging. They are. Oh. Whoa. What is this? Uh, that's a puller. I don't know what tool this is though. It's oh, like yeah. a thread measuring tool or something. It's made in the USA. Both of them. Oh, both of them. It's a good find right there. It's a good find. What is that? Oh, well, it looks like an old tarp. Zippos? Isn't that zippos? Yeah, like a canopy. Have you been this far back? Yep. On the other side, going downstream. Going downstream? Oh, look at this. It looks like somebody was, some kid was collecting some pretty rocks here. Oh, yeah. Got some fool's gold in there. Cool. Baby steps, baby steps. <laughs> oh, wow. Future rock hound was over here. Yeah. <laughs> I can dig right now. Yeah. You got it, man. Get in there. I forgot my pan. Oh, I thought you said you forgot your pants. Actually, you're right. That is like perfect. That's about right there, Brian pointed out. That is so perfect. Hey, this spot looks good. Okay, so I'm basically at this point a kid in a candy shop. I am not used to having water around me while having a metal detector. So I kind of just went to town. I'm just, just about to go down and check this little waterfall out. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> He's staring at me. I did a bunch of exploring. I explored a couple pockets here, there, with Lisa Tortuga and my buddy Brian with the metal detector. We had a blast just exploring around this entire area. 
a lot of black sand right there. That's what that noise is. Normally, wherever I metal detect, it is nothing but dry, barren desert. All right. All right, I've had enough with this hiking up the mountain in uh, 90 something degrees. <sighs> I gotta go get some water anyway. So I'm gonna head back down to the wash, the dry wash. I don't have the luxury of water around here. This creek to me is just wonderful and I was so excited to get the coil wet and just play around in the water a little bit because this is just something that I am not used to whatsoever. And the metal detector that I'm using is called a Gold Monster 1000 from the manufacturer Mine Lab. And you can get the coil wet, but you cannot get the handpiece wet. It's water resistant, but not waterproof. The coil is waterproof. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to this secret spot, guys. We're gonna steal their gold. There's a guy right there. Oh, look, he's looking at all his gold. Get him. All right, we're here to look at your hole for the hole inspectors. It looks like a power tool box. You guys using power tools out here? Got some claim jumpers. Yeah, there's another trap right above it. You turn hey, the camera hanging off. Hanging out there in the cuff. All right, guys, so I totally dug this hole all by myself. This is my, this is my gold. Man, you've been here how long? You've been here since I've been here, man. All right, he's saying it's not gold, but I think it might be gold. Maybe. It could be a shaving though, whatever you guys were using, whatever power tools, I mean, whatever hand tools yeah, you yeah. guys were using. Come on, brother, where's that? I was digging at it. Look, I sliced my finger trying to find that bad boy. Yeah, I, I was like, I'll, I'll walk around real quick. That was from earlier. Yeah, yeah that stuff ain't no joke. You guys put rust in there? Yeah, man. I did pull a nail out of there. Did you? Mm -hmm. That deep? Yeah. Yeah. What will it be? What will it be? I hope it's gold. I might just so too. I see him drop in his pocket. See that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just some trash can. <laughs> Go check out this crevice. I know. Do you see all these rocks? These all and these this, rocks. This oh, pocket here. here. The way this. Oh yeah. You guys got a picker out of here? Are you uh, keeping that private? They're kind of. They're nice little balls, little BBs, but. Yeah. Oh, barely a picker. So you think the deeper you get? Yeah, we'll get some bigger stuff. It was promising. Oh man. Ooh, boy. This is the cheap one, it's okay. It was like this got, close, man. Just got the manicure. I had that one close. up here. Nice. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. That's a nice spot right here. I had it over there, I got scared. Yeah, no, I'll move it. Right, I'm here with this rock expert. He's gonna kind of school me on some of the stuff that I had questions about. I don't know about school you, but I'm um, Josh Hawkins with Native Arizona Adventures. We're out here at Lynx Creek, just hanging out. And he's a big rock hound, so I think he's gonna know a little bit more about this stuff than I do. This is my question. Now, I know what this is. I know what this is, right? That's Thunder Egg? Yeah, it should be. There's like a blue ring around this. You got the blue agate, and then you got the rhyolite. The rhyolite base is what you're, you're gonna have. Uh, as the host and it'll just bubble out and it flows in this eyelight this ash layer. Okay. Yeah it, it could be comprised of opal. It could have water lines actually just a crystal pocket in there Is there like more that are rare than the others a lot of times they're looking for different patterns You know you have varieties like that you'd get out of Oregon. They're more blue So this okay. would be something like from Oregon I would okay. say but I have seen you know like this one's this one's another one That's the one I was really interested in yeah, and uh, that's a blue agate yeah, nodule, yeah. like a basalt gas bubble geode. Okay. So they form in a basalt gas bubble. And then the chalcedony and agate and whatever minerals are, are in there will just fill up into that gas bubble. And then, you know, if it has a pocket, like this one is all the way formed, closed in. If it doesn't close in all the way, and then you'll have the geode pocket and the crystals will grow inside that pocket. Okay. But uh, these ones are just fully formed and then they just completely solidified, filled in all the way. So they're a little bit of rhyolite, a little bit of agate. That's another one this I was question one, about. What is that? This <laughs> one looks like, you know, something that you get from up in Payson. I think that would be like something that was like a, a fossil. Like the brachiopod fossils that I was talking to you about earlier, they're up uh, near Happy Jack. They actually form in this limestone. Okay. Um, and it's like, you know, a bunch of shells that conglomerated into the sediment on the, the ocean floor, the ancient ocean floor that was up there. And it just solidified over it. So there could be a fossil in there. You would know. you cut, like, can you cut this or yeah. how would you do it? Yeah. Okay. I would probably cut it open long ways yeah, to yeah. expose both sides because there could be, you know, even two shells oh, in really? there or some kind of different fossil. You know, you could have coral coming up through it. 
it really depends and it always varies it really you know it's like finding petrified wood you know for a chromium piece of petrified wood for it to be green and chromium it only falls on a piece of ground that has this certain mineral i don't even I know see. what it is but okay yeah, it, it kind of gets leached out a little yeah okay. all right then that's the last one uh, i just noticed that it's a ball yeah and, and so it looks to me like it's granite there might be a little bit of green tourmaline in there yeah it's like a little a bit of quartz ball? but yeah it would have to have been tumbled down the river yeah. and then you know eventually it starts flaking off again mm -hmm. and that, that's the I kind of figured you know, because yeah, granite. It looks mm -hmm. like but this. Yeah. This was definitely that's definitely an agate nodule that formed in in the basalt lava so, rock. So would you cut this too, and oh, there would yeah. be something cool that's in there? That's probably the, one of the most beautiful. Yeah, this one pieces. looks so cool. It's it's gonna be amazing. Dark blue mixed in. There's probably gonna be some white inside there. A crystal pocket, fortification bands, water, um, line. water line. There could be crystals. You never know. Uh oh, <laughs> you got your work cut out oh, for you. Oh yeah, what is look this? at all these thunder eggs. Yeah, this one's nice. See, this is like the, the water line that I was telling you about. I think that's the other side. Yeah, that's the yeah. other side. Oh wow. But yeah, you have the water line, so each line fills in layer by layer until it just solidifies. Wow, that's beautiful. This is the uh, common opal that some of them are filled with. That kind of looks like this. Kind of the mystery of cutting something open, not knowing what's gonna be inside. All right, so it's getting really windy, but Josh is gonna cut these for me. Heck and yeah, then man. send them back, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, it'd be my pleasure, brother. Check this little guy out. Oh yeah, I have a couple of those. Not that fancy though. What? That thing's old too. <laughs> you made sure to plunk that down in. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so it has VP, VP. right here. Sweet. And then you put WSG on the other side. Look at that <laughs> chunk. Thanks, Mike. Really shiny gold, it says on it. Wow. And then uh, Vendetta prospecting on the other side. Oh, I got to go. There's a little piece of gold in this I one. I saw it. Here. It was like a line, right? A streak? Really tiny. See how small that is? Oh, yeah, I can see it. It's so small. The gold monster found it. That's not surprising. So you... Oh, wow. Yeah. So we found these metal detecting. Not here at Lynx Creek, but I figured, why not? It's Lisa's birthday coming up, and so I was going to let her pick a couple, whichever oh, one she wants. Really? Yeah. That is awesome. Just not any of the big ones. <laughs> Actually, I like the character of two of the little ones, and they're right at the end, right here. This one and this one. Right here. Those ones? Yeah. You can have one of the big ones. Pick one for me. Because I picked these two. I love it with the character. Look at that. That's awesome. Beautiful wheelie. So oh, not those two. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful specimen. Yeah, that one's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We're hanging out with uh, Scars Prospecting, and this is his setup. But unfortunately, we're getting rained out. But he's got a killer setup, dual fire pit action. One right here, one right here. And as you can see, as he gets out of his camper, got this nice path right here all the way down and he's got a tent set up the whole river to play with it's awesome out here except for it just started raining so and Rohan that's what you go by uh, Rohan does adventures so new channel on YouTube so far he's got the most gold out of everybody is that right he yeah, did right yeah, I so I'll be checking out the channel uh, scars prospecting and Rohan does adventures I know Ryan's the crazy one out there <laughs> Hey, you're not giving up, are you? What? You're done? I just came down here. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Reclamation. Do you bury your spot? I buried my hole. Look at that. He did. So we did a lot of gold panning in Leaks Creek. I wish I had more footage, but we did some exploring out in the creek. Found a little bit of gold. Tiny bit. Three specks. That's about, as, that's about as big of a speck right there. Okay, so we're up in Licks Creek right now and we're getting rained out. So they're staying the night because they're crazy. I'm getting out of here because it's way too wet for me. I'm totally out of my element. Water's weird. All right, bye everybody. Heavy pants. Later, brother.
Oh, your flag got ruined. See you on the next one.